You know, I, I, I guess I didn't watch the newlywed uh, game as much as I watched uh, the dating game or one of those other, because that theme is not as familiar to me. Is that familiar to you, Ann? You're too young for that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I, I thought that da-da-dot, da-da-dot, well, I must be thinking of the other one, but this is it. It's the newlywed game, and these are uh, not newlyweds. We have uh, qualified three listeners to the Paul W. Smith Show to join us in the studio today for our Paul W. Smith Valentine's Day Showdown, sponsored by Edmund T. A. Heat Jewelers. And it's, uh, uh, it's good that uh, Bridget Burns is here because she, uh, she and Ann Thomas came up with a concept. So, uh, Bridget, you can come in at any time if I'm doing this uh, incorrectly because, frankly, other than the contestants, I'm usually the last to really know what's going on. It's not their fault, it's mine. I just haven't had the chance to really look at this. So let's find out together uh, what we're doing because it's going to be fun. That part I know for sure. And let's first meet the couples. Uh, and uh, we have Sam and Lena Tice. Uh, they're from Brighton. Uh, get real close to the... My, Sam, nice to have you here. Good morning, Paul. You know, you're in the hot seat. The men, of course, have to do the heavy lifting here because uh, I'm going to be asking the questions of the men because uh, oh, what happened was we isolated the husbands. They were asked a series of questions about their wives, and then and then now the couples are back together. Ooh, boy, they've got, Pat was uh, very concerned about some of the questions we might have asked. <laughs> Pat, if there's anything you want to confess now to get it over with... Uh, we're open to that. Uh, we can even change the name of the show we're doing now. Uh, and the couples are back together in Studio D here, where we do the Paul W. Smith Show every day, unless we're on the road. And we're going to see if what the husband said uh, matches what uh, the wives uh, are going to say. So uh, you understand how that works. All right. So, Sam, you feel pretty confident. Elena, do you feel confident? You've been married 12 years. Do you feel Sam knows you pretty well? He knows me better than I know him. All right, well, uh, it's an evasive answer. You know, in, 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 <laughs> and the important thing to note is that Dr. Phil is in the lobby for after this program. And I, by the way, I might add, we do not have a lie detector attached to anybody here. <laughs> and thank goodness for that. And we're not going to ask any of those kinds of questions either. Uh, and then we have Pat and Michael Gouchwa, uh from Livonia. Now, did I say that correctly? Because it's not spelled that way. Mike, you've had the name longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's close. That's right. Well, close. No, 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 no. We aim to please here. It's it's G U E W A, and it's no. what I have here is Goosh G O O S H W A H. That's right. That's correct. Gooshwa. Gooshwa. I thought that's what I said. <laughs> okay, let me put a mark here. <laughs> Pat and Michael troublemakers. Um, <laughs> Uh, remember to veer away from you guys if it gets going here. All right, now, uh, Pat, uh, you, you guys have been married how long? Almost 38 years. My wow. goodness gracious. Uh, obviously, you met in grade school. And, he took uh, me out of kindergarten. He took you out of kindergarten. <laughs> uh, thank goodness there are laws about that now. Um, and, uh, and we also have Bill and Luann Jouse. Good morning, yes. Good morning. Uh, uh, that would be Luann and Bill. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here. Now, Bill, are you, uh, uh, is there some, are you, did you say, did you wake up one day and say, I'm not shaving until, because you have like a really big beard. I haven't shaved in 35 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that, yeah. Um, do you trim it? Or I guess yeah. you have to trim yeah. it. It'd be down to your, your, your feet, <laughs> yeah, in 35 years. All right, and uh, you're from Metamora. Yes. God's country out there, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you enjoy that. How long have you uh, been married, Luann? Uh, 31 years, same as Bill. Well, you know, it's funny when I said that question. When, when I asked that question, I thought, you know, that's kind of. I should probably say, how long have the two of you been married? Uh, but then again, you know, these days you could get two different numbers, and you know, or the whatever. Anne is here. Is, did I do something wrong already? I just wanted to make sure you were clear. I'm asking the women the questions to make sure they match what the husband said. Right, right. Yes, did, we had heard, we'd already. Did they must think I am absolutely <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I, and I know we don't use the word stupid. Uh, uh, but, but I said the men were isolated, and we asked the men questions. So do you think I would say, all right, guys, we asked you these questions privately. Now I want to see if you can give me the same answer you gave in private. <laughs> you know, I almost was a, I spoke to uh, Mr. Goodson. Remember Goodson Todman? Goodson Todman, mm -hmm. is that the name? I spoke with Mr. Goodson. He called me years ago about hosting a game show. 
And, of course, like an idiot, I said I wasn't interested in hosting a game show. What an idiot! Uh, I could have been uh, the next, uh, I don't know. I already used Wink Martindale, and I don't even know if anyone knows who Wink Martindale is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have minded being... Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know if I wanted to be Bob Barker. Bob had some issues off, <laughs> off uh, you know. <laughs> there were a lot of legal issues Bob had with those uh, Barker girls over the years. And uh, I yes. certainly wouldn't want that. Uh, Toby, I can't understand what you're saying. Toby, we're, we're taping this. This will be on WJR.com uh, uh, soon enough. Uh, I'm holding off on going to the first questions because we have Paul Harvey coming up. So I just was building the momentum uh, to uh, get us to that point. And I just realized I, I, my screen went away because I had to move my book here. Let's see if I have some traffic information. Oh, I don't. Oh, and now it says here I, sh I didn't see that because when I put my book down. Okay, well, Paul Harvey News and Comment coming your way. Then we're going to come right back and we'll start our uh, contest. Little music, little something, little noise, anything here. Everybody clap. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, all right, okay. It's 830 at WJR. <laughs> 